welcome today guys I'm gonna be doing Dutch's potatoes with a twist now usually Dutch's potatoes just contains egg yolks you have butter you have potato and some people put milk into it but today I like to make mine with a flavored cheese and I'm using a flavored cheese blend of Parmesan and basil so you can use whatever flavored cheese you like Philadelphia cheese is a good one to use also or if you wanted to use a flavored goat cheese you can do that but you want a cheese that's soft and that's creamy something like a goat cheese or a Philadelphia cheese kind of consistency you don't want a stringy cheese that melts like what you would use in pizza so here I already went ahead and boiled one pound of potatoes I boiled that and then I drained it and yes I boiled it with a little bit of salt because you want to just use a little bit or none because this would have salt in it. Then you would go ahead and mash this up or put it into a ricer and rice it until it's a very, very fine. You don't want any lumpy potato. I have three egg yolks, some unsalted butter. You have the cheese, that has, as I said. Some milk. We may or may not need this. Depends on the consistency. I always like to keep it on hand just in case. Salt to taste and black pepper. To the potatoes, I'm going to put in the eggs, the butter, and the cheese. Season with some black pepper to taste. Now mix everything to incorporate. Okay, I just tasted it for salt and it needs some salt. So I'm going to add that in. I'm also going to add in some milk. So I'll add a tablespoon at a time and see how much I need. Okay, so that's enough milk. It feels light and creamy. Okay, now this is ready to be baked. What you can do is spread this out in your baking dish and if you wanted to top, top this with some cheese, you can. But today I'm gonna be doing it differently. I'm actually gonna transfer this mixture into a bag with a piping tip. Okay, next I'm gonna pipe this out onto my tray. If you wanted to pipe it out into a baking dish, you can do that also. So that's how you're gonna pipe it. And if you were piping it in the baking dish, you'll do it the same way. Okay, next, this goes into your oven 400 degrees Fahrenheit for about 10 to 12 minutes. If you wanted to brush it with an egg wash, you can. I prefer not to. I do not want it to destroy that nice, beautiful rose pattern. So guys, the potatoes just came out of the oven. You see that nice brown color it has on the tips of the roses? That's what you're looking for. So these are now ready to be served. I hope you guys enjoyed this recipe. I will leave two recipes for protein dishes that can go with this at the end of this video. So make sure guys, if you give this recipe a try and you like it, remember to give it a thumbs up and to share it with your friends. If you're new to my channel, I hope you subscribe. Thank you all so much for watching and I'll see you all another day with another one of my recipes. Enjoy! <laughs>